Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Yolanda Maria, if this is your first time here. So today, y'all, I wanted to give you guys an update on my hair. So yes, I have finally cut off all of my dead ends, my thin hair. If you're not familiar with my channel, I have a whole journey about my hair loss um, experience with iron deficiency in 2020. Um, my hair just started falling out. I lost about close to 50% of my hair and I had to cut it all off because you could see right through my hair. I will go ahead and leave um, my whole journey up in the cards. I do have a playlist from the date that I started having symptoms and then my hair started falling out, my doctor appointments, what all happened in that case and what I did to fix it. So we're going upon two years. We're about maybe two months shy from the time I cut off my hair and started growing my hair back. So all of this hair, all of this hair is new hair. So everything has been cut off and guys, you can see that my hair has grown tremendously. I have never had such thick hair and I'm sure that comes from my change in my nutrition from my iron. So me taking vitamins, me taking supplements and eating healthier has definitely played a role. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is what I have been doing to my hair topically on helping my hair to grow. So if that is something that you are interested in, keep on watching. that I have been doing is keeping up with a consistent wash day routine and maintenance routine. I do shampoo and deep condition my hair every seven to 10 days. So what I mean by a maintenance, what I mean by a routine, a routine is what I do from start to finish on my wash day. So I definitely pre-poo my hair. I have type four, very curly, extremely low porosity dry hair. So I have to pre-poo. I cannot just jump right in to shampoo because it will take too much of my moisture out. So I go ahead and pre-poo first, shampoo, and then deep condition. A part of this maintenance routine, I also do the LCO method. I have several videos here on my channel. As far as what I do after I have deep conditioned my hair, I make sure that I do the LCO method. I use um, the liquid cream oil. During the winter months, I may go ahead and bump it up to a grease or a butter, but I definitely like to lock in the moisture when I am doing my hair. Um, for as my, you know, it's not considered a protective style, but it is considered like low manipulation. So this is how I keep my hair pretty much if I'm not doing two strand twists, it, it's braids and I keep that under my wig. I really do not wear my natural hair out. I wear wigs pretty much every day and this is how I wear my hair under my braids. In addition to my wash day and maintenance, I do alternate with protein treatments. So that is a part of maintenance, making sure that you are incorporating strength and moisture on a weekly basis or at least every two weeks. So making sure that you are doing, whether it is a light protein treatment or an intense protein treatment every four weeks. And one last thing as far as part of my routine and maintenance is making sure I do my trims. Now, at first, because I was trying to get rid of my damaged and thinning hair, I was trimming every single month. Then I transitioned to every three months and now I'm not gonna cut my hair for another six months. So my last trim, I believe was, um, if it wasn't early July, I think it was early July was my last trim or the end of June. I'm not going to cut my hair or trim my hair again until the top of 2023. So making sure that trims are incorporated, whether it's a every four weeks, just get on some type of schedule and making sure you're getting rid of those dead ends. The second thing that I have been doing to help grow my hair is incorporating Ayurvedic 
uh, hair masks or using products that contain Ayurvedic ingredients. So I have definitely been using Curly Proverbs henna and um, I believe it's aloe and amla. Make sure you go ahead and I have a video I'm gonna leave up in the cards where I actually showed you guys. I did a review on her henna mask and y'all that mask is amazing. I do use other brands as well but just incorporating Ayurvedic ingredients will definitely tremendously help your hair to grow and thicken. The next thing I did was during the week. So I have my every seven to 10 day routine, but I also have a routine throughout the week leading up to my wash day. So every night I do go ahead and massage my scalp. I have a little scalp massager that I use and I also use my oils. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do have my own hair care line, hence my hair. I use all of my own products for the most part, 90% of the time I am using my own pre-poo, I am using my own shampoo, deep conditioners, my hair growth oil. So throughout the week I am using my products, my leave-in conditioner and things like that. So um, I am using my oil and I'm also massaging. So in addition to that, to keep my hair moisturized, I also have a video on my channel of how I made a DIY hair growth spritz where the base of that spritz is aloe vera juice. So I will leave that up in the cards as well. It keeps my hair moisturized. It has rosemary, fenugreek seeds in it. It also has horsetail. So I use the base of aloe vera juice. Cloves is also in it. So you, I, I just mix all this together and you can definitely use that as a hair growth spritz as well as an additional moisturizer. So throughout the week, I am keeping my hair moisturized, stimulating my scalp, and making sure that I am continuing to promote hair growth even throughout the week. And the final thing that I have been doing to my hair is really more internal, making sure that I am taking my supplements. Um, again, I will leave um, all of my videos up in the cards about my hair loss and my, uh, my I'm sorry, <laughs> I will leave everything up in the cards as far as my playlist, what I took as far as my vitamins and what I took as my supplements to help my hair to stop shedding because low iron, low vitamin D and low zinc will cause your hair to fall out. So if you're someone with thinning hair and you don't know why, make sure you see your doctor, make sure you get some blood work done and specifically ask for those um, to be checked. Make sure your vitamin D is checked. Make sure your iron levels are checked. Make sure your zinc is checked because some doctors, if you do not ask, if you do not specifically ask for these things to be checked, they will not check them. That is what I had to deal with. I did not know I had low iron until it was completely too late and I ended up, you know, basically in the hospital. So, <laughs> so make sure you do that. So those are the things that I have been doing. I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm not sure if I'm going to straighten my hair. I really probably want to go to a hairstylist and get a blowout so that I can really see where my length is because I haven't had my hair straightened. I really just been focused on taking care of my hair and wearing um, my protective style, wearing wigs as a protective style. So yeah, go ahead and leave any comments down below. Just wanted to give you guys an update, let you guys know what I have been doing to my natural hair. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you also have had any type of hair loss relating to something that could have been taken care of internally, leave that down below because there are a lot of people who do not know about iron deficiency anemia. When I literally tell people that my hair fell out, a lot of women are like, they can't believe it. They're like, low iron causes your hair to fall out? Yes, and there's so many other things that makes your hair fall out. So definitely give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.